In today's video, we'll have a look at how to create and define filter components in your Lumera Designer applications. Now, to create a filter, you go in the Components section, and there's a subsection for filter components. You see, as you can see, we have uh, different options to choose from. What these are are basically different visualizations of uh, your dimension uh, filter components. Um, but it, they all um, have the same purpose in mind, which is to select filters uh, to apply to one or more components in your dashboard. So we'll stick to the regular or default dimension filter component. As ever, we'll drag and drop it into our application. And as usual, we have to um, assign a data source to this component, much like the table and chart components. So we go to the properties, set data source. I'll set it to the DS quantity sold. And now, as you can see now, they say no dimensions available. That's because we have to set which dimension the filter uh, is based on. So in our case, I'll set it to state. As you can see now, it is ready with uh, the state filter. And when we run the application, we can then interact with the filter component and choose the state members we want to display. Now, the last thing is you can have the um, option to specify target data sources. So now, when you select a filter, this one is based on DS quantity sold. When you select a filter, it will affect, by default, the same data source, so quantity sold. So any other components which are based off of this data source will also be affected. However, if you want to apply um, the filter to more components, some of which are, have different da uh, data sources, you can click here on target data sources and select one or more of the other data sources to apply this filter on. So this uh, this allows you um, not to not to run uh, the issue of having to create multiple filters uh, of the same type, but for different data sources. You only need to create one based on one data source and uh, target more data sources uh, to filter it on. In our case, we are mostly working on quantity sold, so I'll keep those empty. Click on Execute to see how it works. Here we go state you can click this is a multiple select by the way and it opens up a dialog box with the different options available to you so let's click texas new york california and click on ok as you can see this table component is based on the same uh, data source and it has been filtered down to the three states that we've selected so this was how to create filter components. Thank you and see you next time.